Me, let me tell you about me. Um, I think I'm a nice guy. You know, I love you. I'm always happy. I love making music. Chris is definitely more musical than me. He's more the producer. I'm constantly in the studio because I definitely want to get better at it and I'm trying to make that number one track and just get that on the radio, help out the Stafford brothers. At the end of the day, I have no shame, so if everyone laughs at me, that's, yeah, I've done my job. Chris does all right with the ladies, yes. <laughs> Chris is a little bit out of control at the moment. He's um, young, dumb, full of cum, as they say. He's very single, and he's just a dog on heat at the moment. I am looking. He is not settling down for anyone right now. Do you want to drop me an email? Stafford Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so sexy, but so not. Chris definitely wants to be number one. Who doesn't want to be number one? Doesn't make sense to me. Come towards the end of this year, I might lock Chris away in a studio and say, mate, um, uh, you're not getting out of here until you uh, pump out a big hit. It's definitely weird if you get to know him. I didn't realise that's how I kiss. <laughs> a bit disgusted in myself looking back at it, to be honest. I really don't think I could do this and have as much fun without him. People even say, like, are you twins? Like, and we're not twins, we're brothers. But, yeah, it's got to that point where we just do everything together. And um, he wears Batman undies. <laughs> He's just so creative and so out there, but yet such a good heart. It's a learning experience, you know what I mean? So that's what my dad told me. It's a learning experience.